All right, everyone, another FFT Arena matchup coming at you. And this is going to be, uh, once again, one of Shadow Dragon's other newest team, which is known as St. Lonson. And on bottom, we have one of Sound Castle's other new team, uh, Non Conformity. All right, so Shadow Dragon has uh, Savin the Bard, Sen, Sen, uh, Ven. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce this unit's name, so. I'm gonna say a draw, Bard. Sten the Bard. Owen the Bard. Glenn the Bard. This is an all Bard team. Um, this one has Masamune, Mirasame, Chiri, which is gonna hurt a lot. 20 MA with magic attack up. Jesus Christ. Um, interestingly enough, he has, um, Cheer Song. Uh,. I'm not sure why you would... I'm not sure how I feel about Masamune on this bard personally right now because if you're going to do Masamune, you're kind of confusing the prior, uh, AI priority here because is he going to be spamming Shurison a lot, which you really would want him to do? Or, um... Or, uh, are you trying to get him to attack? Well, I mean, you're going to get him to attack eventually with, uh, Chiri. But maybe you would consider switching out Masamune with um, Beeson Boat, just because with move minus one, he's not gonna be really be moving far. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is cracking right now. Holy shit! Um, <clears throat> just because Monster Mune is good in general, doesn't mean it's good on every single unit. I mean, in the case of this Bardi, you might want to switch out Monster Mune with Beeson Boat only because with move minus one, you're not really moving very far. Plus, you if you got Cheers on this guy, you might as well be using as much as you can anyways. I mean, everything else looks kind of fine. For the most part, anyways. Uh, we have a white magic bard here. Cursed Rain user. Huh. With, um, raise 2 or sooner. MA save, I guess, for damage done with the Fairy Harp. We have not seen the Fairy Harp actually in a very long time, so that's very, that's gonna be very nice to see. This is another uh, clone bard right here. So, these two basically function exactly the same way. Be undead support units can inflict charm with the fairy heart. Move MP up so it doesn't run out of MP anytime soon. And yeah. Decent bards. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how well they would do as white magic users being undead. But we'll see. I mean, I'm all for creativity just as long as it's, um, it's effective. And of course, we got this uh, time magic bard. Um, does he have haste 2 or something? I'm not sure. Let me double check. I tend to forget. Haste 2, slow 2, and sinkhole. Okay. So, for haste 2 to be going off, um... Well, he does have move minus 1 and defense up, so that's pretty good. He can at least survive some hits physically. Um, absorb MP, so that way when the songs do go off, he, um... Can get 30 MP and keep casting his time magic. Slow 2, sinkhole is really nice. Um, I don't want to say that the bars are squishy, but there might be a bit of cohesive problems, I think, because, um, well, number one, you got one draw user who's got Masamune, and Masamune isn't really, like, the best, uh, draw to have in this particular unit, only because, well, with Moon Minus 1, he, again, he's not going to be moving very far, not at all. In fact, I think this one can barely catch up to any of these to any of these three, really. So you might be going through some separation issues here. Because if you're going to be using Masamune, you got to use Ma Ma you got to use Masamune on the team that sticks together. Or goes together, whatever. So you might be facing this, some uh, separation problems. Number two, if the cursed Ren users go down, then you're going to have to wait for at least three turns until one of them can get back up. And you're going to have to hope that um you guys can just just survive long enough for the undead users to get back up. And these guys aren't really built to be like tanks, really. This one is kind of, but... Oh, sorry about that. But it just might be a matter of time before they go down. Especially with the 70 Faith, where it makes you pretty vulnerable to magic users. Particularly like black magic, summon magic, etc. Um, even without the 40 Faith, just in general, these bards are in danger going down. So, I mean, we'll see, 
But right now, I think that um, the concept's fine, but is it going to execute well? That's the question. Meanwhile, we have uh, Soundcaster's newest team. Uh, Tomboy, the Lancer. Shadowbox, the Mediator. Karaoke Star, the Oracle. And, po and Pony Hack Guy, the Time Age. Well, as you can see, this team has 10 speed across the board. Which is pretty nice, I guess you can say. They're all going to be moving together, which is actually pretty important. Although, uh, similar to... Well, I'll discuss the units first. You have an item bot Lancer. With pretty much every item you can think of. Dragon Spirit, move HP up. Good Evasion. Um, nice amount of stats effects that this uh, particular unit's um, immune to. I believe she's immune to Don't Act, Sleep, Berserk, Silence, Dead... Well, Death Sentence too. Poison and Blind. That's pretty decent. Um, Scooch on 2 for maximum amount of evade. Well, for both sides. Uh, Aegis Shield offers a little bit more magic evade, but it's still not that much. It still doesn't beat the magic evade on Scooch on 2 by much, so that's a very good shield. And uh, with Javelin, move HP up. Yeah, this person, this girl is going to be chucking items left and right. We have the Mediator here, who has Head Break and Armor Break. Very interesting. Two Repel Knives. This is a setup I don't think I've ever seen before. A Dual Wielding Mediator. Um, projectile Guard. Nice in some cases, but in this particular case, it's not going to work. But it it's not that bad. It's just not going to work in this particular matchup. Um, he has Mimic Derivon, uh, Refute, and Death Sentence. Repel Knife, so I guess for two chances of a Don't Act proc. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, overall pretty mobile mediator. Again, I just think there might be some separation issues going on. Particularly with this mediator, because you could because you could get himself separated from the rest of the group. Which might not be a good thing. Uh, but again, we'll see. Um, Sin Oracle. I think he has, um... Does he have Magic Song or Cheer Song? I don't know. I'm going to double check very quick. God, my memory just sucks right now. Bow Song. Oh, Bow Song. Huh. For this Lancer, I guess. For this Mediator. Okay. Uh, This would not really benefit the Oracle too much, I don't think. Because... Well, actually, books depend on PA and MA. So, it's a maybe. But... Eh. I mean, the, Mad the Madeline Gen proc stop, which is awesome, and short charge can pull off the Indian magic, I, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about Battle Song personally, I think that, um, maybe Life Song might be better for this unit, because you can, because you can just keep randomly healing everyone on your squad, and Life Song does not uh, take that long for it to go off at all, and you might automatically proc regen too, which would be very nice for your for your Lancer here with move HP up. Make her really tanky. Well not tanky, but very durable. Uh, actually yeah, tanky's kind of the kind of like the right word. I was thinking like bulky, like defense up to kinda of tanky, but regen, life song tanky, I think would be better with this Oracle in my opinion. I don't think anyone on this team would really benefit from um Bow Song too much. Because this is basically a stats based team. This one doesn't have any jump. So that's just my opinion only. On the subject. But I like the idea. Of this oracle. I do. Then we have a, a support time age here. MP restore. Short charge. Nothing new here. Black hood. Light robe. Decent amount. Um, Yeah MP restore. So that way you can recover at MP. This one I believe should have haste 2 and slow 2. Um, yep, Ace 2, Slow 2, and Sinkhole. Sinkhole, a very good ability. It can stop the performance on any of these bards, honestly. So, it'll be interesting to see what it comes down to. I mean, can the bards actually gain range and nail the DPS? Odds are likely not, because of limited movement. But we shall see. We're going to be going to map 12, which is at the gate of Lionel Castle. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. 
anyways, um, we have Shell Dragon in the black and Silent Castle's in the blue. Oh my god, wow. Given that Mediator 6 move was probably the right decision at that point. Holy shit. Three Mimic Derivons goes off and... Now we see a double panel paralyzed. Is this going to be a blowout right here? And Death Sense is hit. Holy crap. This is a blowout right now. Shadow Dragon had no chance whatsoever. Wow. A head break even hits. Just add a little insult to injury, I suppose. Petrified about to go off and another haste too. It, it's like as if the Oracle did not even need to do any songs at all. Another he double, well, double head break that time. Alright, waking the bard up. That's fine though. Slow two. Wow, this is complete. Utter domination right now. Oh, here you get a little bit cheery. Holy shit, 243 damage. That's a lot of damage. That time is be looking for more haste two. Reversing the slow two. And double whack from the mediator. And that's it. Just like that. Silent Caster takes round one. No problem whatsoever. That was a fucking squash match, if I ever saw one. Let's see what happens in round two. Round two is about to commence as we are now in map 125. Check board stands. This is a smaller map this time, so maybe we'll get a chance to see what Shadow Dragon's Bard can do. Well, his Shadow Dragon... Well, Shadow Dragon's Bard team. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, anyways, last match. Yeah, these guys got steamrolled with because of that one mediator. Half of the nail mimic Derivon on all three of his targets. He didn't get every single one, like all four, but three or four are still pretty awesome. And double paralyze was pretty much the um the killer right there. Mediator will rush forward. Double, don't act proc. And the oracle still continues to sing. As does the bard. Haste 2 hits there. Let's see, Owen, what's he gonna do? He's gonna go for... Ooh, charm proc, nice. And cheery. 279 damage, my god, that hurts. That media thing he does have re-raise. Let's see, Karaoke Star will be, will be looking for, I think it's going to be a Paralyze. Shadow Box gets right back up. He's going to go for Death Sentence. And connects. And then stays put. Okay. Paralyze hits the Death Sentence Bard. And Owen will take out that Mediator again. Lancer throws a high other at the time mage, and he's probably gonna need it if he wants to resurrect that mediator. See, Karaoke Star will go for another Paralyze. Pony Hakai would be looking for a raise too. 68% though, I don't like those odds. I knew it. It would. It, it missed. Mediator does get right back up, but he'll go right back down. It looks like the Shadow Dragon is put up a bit of a fight this time. Ah, sure, Song Knight. I think it hit two people, I believe. And Chiri is just doing massive damage. Holy shit. This bard's on a tear right now. Slow two hitting. That's exactly what uh, Silent Caster needs. And there's a Petrified proc on the draw bard. So let's see, Asuna? Oh yeah, to remove the Petrify. Um, but let's see if uh, Soundcaster can put it right back on. He he's gonna really need to. 
Hits it again. So far, um, Silentcaster's speed advantage is actually kind of coming into play. Oh, d a two don't act procs hitting on that undead bard. Oh boy. Haze 2 connects, and then we're gonna see an, a pet, another petrified proc. Hits. So, yeah. Two. Dual wielding mediator. Pretty unique. Not the hardest hitting unit, but, but he does have um, two 50% chances of him hitting with Don't Act proc, which is pretty awesome, actually. Oh yeah, there's still one, one, there's still that white magic bar, one of the two that white magic bar that's still left. Battle song hit three, three people. Now raise two hits that other undead bard. Paralyzed hits one more time. Uh, there's not much I can really say here, except, wow. Lots of status effects that this team is dishing out. This media has not missed a death sentence whatsoever. It was pretty spot on. I mean... Seeing Oracle is a nice idea, but I don't think Balsong would really do it. I don't think this team is really built for damage. I think this team is built for, um, status effects, really. I mean, even I gotta say, so far, Soundcast has been pretty much impressing me with these ideas of status effects teams. I mean, I don't want to say they're like, um, oh, double, oh, Headbreak does actually hit. I mean,. I mean, this team is not exactly perfect by any means, but this is the closest to as a good uh, status-based team I personally have ever seen so far, and this is just their first match. I mean, grant you that um, they do need some more matches to really prove themselves, but this is a good first impression in my opinion. And Chatterbox would actually, yep, finish the job. I mean, Balsong does benefit the Mediator some because of, um, the two Repel Knives, but I do think that Life Song would be better because you can add those random regen procs, and the fact that the Lancer, who is pretty fast and tanky to begin with, can be even more tanky with the regen. Just my opinion, of course. So otherwise, I mean, the, the Mediator will also get added damage with the book. As well, because books do depend on PA and MA as normal damage. Um, but again, I think the pro I think the proc really matters the most uh, than anything else. Otherwise, though, yeah, good stuff. GG.